So the final group stage of the Europa League just wrapped up um, a few hours ago. So everything is, is done now and we know who's who's, who the seeded and unseeded teams are. Uh, as many of you know, there's teams coming down from the Champions League. Teams that finished third in their league in Champions League are coming into the Europa League. So now we have a picture of, you know, the possibilities of who's going to play against who. We just don't know exactly. There's also Red Star's final match against uh, Slovan Liberets today in, in, in the Czech Republic. And it was... The group had already been determined. Red Star was second and Hoffenheim was, was uh, first. Um, so everything had already been determined. It's just one of those games that you want to come in and you kind of just want to get out uh, healthy. Make sure uh, you don't get any more injuries because Red Star has dealt with a lot this year. Uh, Kanga had a chance to play. Rodic had a chance to play. And Imanich had a chance to play. Which is all three guys haven't played much in the last month due to various injuries, coronavirus and things like that. And they all look very sloppy to say the least. Um, even it's just probably the best out of the out of the trio. Um, but Kanga was sloppy and and, and Rodic came on off uh, in I believe like the 60th, around the 60th minute. But the most important part is that they got to run out and, and kind of get their feet under them um, for what's left. There's two more matches left in the in the domestic league and then uh, the Europa League draw is on Monday as well as well as the Champions League. So we have we wait for our opponents and then we go from there so there's two matches left and then the serbian league gets domestic league gets underway uh february 6th and i believe end of february is when europa league gets underway if i'm not mistaken so like i said the most important part is to, is to get out um healthy milanovic was the man of the match again for me not many guys stood out i would probably pick milanovic and borean had some work to do he made a couple good stops and maybe Njegos Petrovic, I guess. No one else really stood out. Um, the worrisome thing about this is <clears throat> uh, Diego Falcinelli has one goal, I believe, in Europa League. Which, for your striker, you need a little bit more production. The one thing I'll say is he does a lot off the ball. And he does a lot of stuff that just isn't just goal scoring. His hold-up play is really good. He gets fouled a lot. Um, he's just not afraid to stick his head, you know, where a lot of players, as they say, wouldn't want to, would want to stick their foot, you know, he's, he's ready to, to fight. And, um, I think it's sometimes like, uh, like a negative one, when people look at Italian players, like they don't necessarily play as hard enough. He doesn't fit that mold at all, uh, because he's ready to do a lot. And he's only been here for six months and that just already talks that, you know, Red Star will buy him out from, from, uh, Bologna. So it's going to be interesting to see how that unfolds. Uh, but like I said, Milunovic again was was outstanding. If I had to pick someone, it would probably be him. Um, and like I said, the most important part is that we got out with no injuries. A very cold night. It was around minus two. A lot of fouls. It was close to 40. And the possession was mostly in Red Star's favor at 63. In terms of chances, there weren't many. Um, ben hit the post. Even each had a good chance. And I believe it may have been Nikolic from a corner. He try to bend one in straight from the corner and it was it was saved it was a pretty good save by the goalkeeper uh but yeah we pretty much roll on from here we kind of wait to see who we face i'm i'm the type of guy who wants to face the toughest competition i think i mentioned it here before it's like a measuring stick to see how far you've come so teams like arsenal is the other team i support i would i wouldn't mind facing arsenal i wouldn't mind uh milan i wouldn't mind napoli all those tough teams, Bayer Leverkusen, whomever. I really don't care. Again, it's a measuring stick. You know, if we get someone who's who's kind of on our level, you're looking at clubs like Club Rouge, probably. Uh, one of the weaker, I guess, so to say, teams, if you want, you want to call them that. Um, and there's Dinamo Zagreb as well, which would, would be a Balkan Derby, pretty much. Um, would be an interesting matchup because Dinamo Zagreb has done outstanding work the last 15 years. Um in both Europa League and the Champions League and the sale of players and making a lot of money and stuff like that. So that would be very interesting and it would create a lot of headlines as well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, even Stankovic after the match said, you know, he thanked his players for, you know, what they've accomplished this in Europa League. They've had to deal with a lot, uh, most injuries. There was two matches where we were, we were without our two or three best players and sometimes four. There were six guys out at one point. Um, so, so it's a lot for a team to take on and the most important thing is, and then someone said it on, on the telecast was, um, they've shown a willingness, uh, to win in different formations. It hasn't always been, for example, today was a four, two, three, one. It hasn't always been a four, two, three, one. 
um, it's been 442, it's been 433, it's been 35 or 3521. It's been a it's been various um, formations, which is good when you get down the road because if you start to face adversity or if you need a goal and you start to you know switch around some things, you start throwing around players different formations, they'll be well adjusted for that. And they've we've done that in, in the domestic league as well, where it hasn't been just one formation, it's been you know four three three um uh, three, four, three, everything that I pretty much mentioned, four, two, three, one, four, one, four, one, stuff like that. So we've played like everything under the sun. So players are, are, I would think that they're ready for whatever. And again, the experience of the last four years with Europa League and Champions League, uh, they've been tested against some of the best teams in the world. You know, Liverpool, they beat um, Bayern Munich last year in the group stage. You know, they tied Napoli. They, they've done very well. So in terms of that, I think the team is ready. And... Like I said, we wait for Monday and to see who we draw.